In today's video, we're gonna see what happens if we take 1,000 lollipops and melt them in a slow cooker. I'm Nate. I'm Callie. And we have a new slow cooker. What should we put in it? I have a couple extra lollipops. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You might not know what the word couple means. Well, I wanted a lollipop, and I figured if I'm buying a lollipop, I might as well buy a couple extra. So we need a thousand for the project today. Is there a thousand there? Uh, I think so. Well, better get started. We have made some hard candy stuff before, and it usually seems to melt pretty well. So we're thinking that these lollipops will melt back down. And I'm curious what's gonna happen with the colors. We've got like two or three different types of lollipop, and they're all multiple colors. So I'm wondering if we're gonna get like swirled effect or if it's just gonna turn like into a brown It's gonna blob. go brown. <laughs> Might depend on if we mix it. What's gonna happen to the sticks? Cause we're not gonna take the sticks out. We're just gonna throw them <laughs> in with it. And hopefully the sticks won't melt even though they are plastic. If they do, then we're not gonna wanna eat what comes out of this. So these are just tiger pops, lots of pretty colors, but we're really not sure about the flavor. <laughs> All right, so we each need to count off 500. So, are you sure we have a thousand? We might have a few extra. Aha! Number a thousand. We still have space and we still have lollipops, so I think we should just keep going a little bit. That was an extra 21 on my part. 1,171 lollipops in a crock pot. And now we turn it on and see what happens. Yep. Oh no, there's more. Ah! 71, 72, 75. 76. 1,176. We had it set to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, we started getting a lot of smoke coming off of it. Our goal is not to just set it all on fire and have tons of sugar burning. So we've lowered the temperature down to 150. We thought it was the candy burning just at first, but the sticks are melting too, so gotta be careful with that. This may not be edible <laughs> by the time it's all melted. I'm gonna make a lollipop sculpture here and just hold it, please. That's just a stick. Now you have garbage in my beautiful sculpture. Hey, Mark, we made this for you. <laughs> I wanna try and stir it. Like, I feel like that's the only safe way to do this. I think it's only melted around the edges, so we just need to let it sit longer at the lower temperature. Okay, so we are having success in melting the lollipops themselves. The problem that we're having is to get them to melt, we're having to raise it to such a high temperature that the sticks are also melting. So the plan is now we are actually going to lower the heat, but also put a lid on. Hopefully we can contain some of that heat and actually get an even melt, fingers crossed. I've got this silicone cake pan and if everything goes pretty well with our melting lollipops. I wanna try maybe pouring some of the lollipop goo into here and making a giant lollipop out of it. Kinda of depends on if we can get some of the sticks out of the way and if everything doesn't like burn badly in that roaster or anything like that, but we're gonna give it a shot. So here's our lollipop mold, here's our lollipop stick. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller than the diameter of the stick so that None of the lollipop will leak through. I think that looks like it should work pretty well. So at this point, we're gonna try and get the sticks out. Now, most of this looks burned, but we think it's mixed flavor. Just maybe everything got mixed. 
Mine tastes good. That's definitely somewhat burned. <laughs> Okay, quick update. We were trying to melt our thousand lollipops and I think we were just a little impatient. We we're just trying to kind of do it in sort of a one day thing and it, it, it really burned And a lot. we left the plastic in. We're gonna try and revisit this with a slightly different method because this, it's just burnt. Like it doesn't even taste good anymore and that kind of defeats the purpose. So we're gonna it try it again. Okay. We're gonna try it with lower heat and longer time. I think we're gonna try letting it run like overnight or even for a day or two just to see if we can get it to work. Guys, the first time we tried putting our lollipops in a slow cooker, what we had was actually more of a roasting pan. It is something that can cook slowly, but it doesn't work the same way as a regular slow cooker. So we've adapted and changed things up a little bit. So our crock pot is a little bit different. A crock pot has thick ceramic walls, cooks things slower, but at a much more even ambient temperature. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not gonna burn things. You can see this right here. Like this whole thing is, I, I think I can even lift it out. It's Ugh, that is full of <laughs> hundreds of lollipops right now. So that's thick ceramic, and at no point is there like a thin steel wall that gets too hot and should start burning the lollipops. That was the biggest problem we ran into before, is while the inside temperature overall might be controlled pretty well, the edges get too hot, and so we really started having burn sugar. So we got new lollipops. We have now unwrapped a new thousand lollipops. And these ones actually have paper sticks. So even if they are in contact with a heating element, they probably, I don't think it would get hot enough to burn and definitely wouldn't get it to melt. So we've got our new slow cooker, which is now very, very full of unwrapped lollipops with paper sticks. And unfortunately we can't fit all 1000 in at first. So we have a plan. Plan's gonna be pretty simple. We are going to wait until this melts down, and as it does, we're gonna add the rest of them. So this is what, 800 almost? Or yeah, I'd say we probably are at about 800 and 200 here. So once those 800 melt down, we're gonna pour in the rest, and hopefully everything melts evenly, and then we can pour it into our mold. If the glass top gets too covered in steam, they'll probably take that off. It would go slower without the top, so we're hoping that doesn't happen, but we'll keep an eye on it, and if it gets opaque so we can't see the lollipops melting, we'll remove it. Our lollipops are thoroughly cooked. More thoroughly than we were expecting them to become, in fact. Or that we wanted them to become. I was confident that the low setting on a slow cooker like this with the ceramic pot to evenly distribute the heat would keep it all low enough that we wouldn't have a burning problem. I was wrong. So that was just a piece that had bubbled over and dripped down the side and I was just tasting it, see what it's like. And it's very burned tasting. There is like a fruity, tangy flavor to it, but then it's also just pretty acrid. Tastes like burned sugar, huh? Yeah, that, that's burned sugar with a little bit of flavoring. Let's see if we can get this lid off. It, it bubbled over like around the lid, oh, then it cooled down. So now the lid is pretty well attached and it's glass. Wait, see if we can just pick the whole thing up by the lid handle. Okay, you go for that. Oh. oh, well, we got the well, lid Well, it off. worked, okay. <laughs> now we have what looks like a pot full of pretzel sticks. That one actually broke like a pretzel stick. Usually lollipop sticks like this will just bend. This is just, that's like a pretzel. You can break them, but you can't really chew them. Mm. It's a weird combination of sour and bitter. Actually, it still smells quite oh, good. It, it smells really like does. lollipops. These were our remaining few that we didn't manage to get into the crock pot before it boiled over. This has more smells than this. Really? Wait. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't really smell like much to me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think burning it or but even this, just cooking it kind of brought that smell It actually out. smells very fruity. Yeah. Like a nice. candy fruit flavor, but like a fruit flavor still. Check this out. The sugar is about here. So that means we have four inches of solid burned cooked sugar full of lollipop sticks. Look, it's a new sort of lollipop. It's oh, the yes. sideways lollipop that 
gouges into your face. Those will be very popular. I regret everything. It's interesting, you really can still taste like the fruit flavors of the lollipop mixed in with the burn flavor. I was expecting a lot more of like a, a smoky burn flavor. Yeah, yeah. This is just bitter. Well, I'm surprised that it did this. I have learned something about crock pots. From what I researched, it said that the low setting should be under 200 degrees, but I assume that even though we had the thick ceramic pot, it still had hot spots where right at the edges, it was getting higher than that temperature. And the temperature that I looked up must have been the average inside temperature. The ambient temperature. Yeah, so we were getting burning, as you probably saw in the time lapse, it kind of foamed up, bubbling and burning on one side, a little bit on both sides, more on one side than the other. It just took over everything. Yeah, and it was around the edges, so I'm, like you said, I assume that heat was much, much higher than expected. This doesn't taste nearly as burned. Yep. It's more efficient this way. I don't think that word means what you think it means. I don't think it means what you think it means. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. This box up here at the top will take you to our latest video. The box at the bottom is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that bomb in the middle so you never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.